Hi guys, welcome back to Card Fight Online. This is Nimsh, and this is the fourth episode. Today, I have Royal Paladin for you. So we are going to play a match with the Royal Paladin deck, which is the the main, um, well, the, the main used deck, right? Like the, the main clan as well. It, it was there from the very beginning. So here we start. Uh, select cards to return to your deck. So this is the Mulligan. Um, this is my hand. So grade one, grade two, grade three. I don't need one grade three. I will keep the best one. I, I want two ones. Um, two ones are fine, and uh, especially because this one is pretty good. Uh, this one, not really, not really. It's a actually no. I don't want this one in my opening hand because that was the the perfect guard. I don't want perfect guard. I want perfect guard somewhere in the deck. Uh, so we are getting. Oh, we got two triggers back. So maybe perfect guard wasn't the the worst because now I know I am not getting those triggers. All right, what's happening? So this is his turn. He's going to ride first. Yep, getting something with eight thousand. What is this? He's getting the the starting vanguard, like the, the zero grade guy, back uh, to the back line. And yeah, that was pretty fast. So this is our turn now. Uh, the royal paladin, as you can see. Well, we, oh wait, this is not the deck I've been talking about. Whoops! <laughs> this is actually great. Gear Chronicle. So, well, yeah, I guess I will play Gear Chronicle. I haven't played it before. And I was like, where are the knights? Why, why, why are we riding dragons? But it's also fine. So, uh, I want to ride this guy, which has 8,000 attack. This is the vanilla guy. Vanilla guy. I'm fine with taking uh, my Forerunner out somewhere. Mm, where do I take my Forerunner? Because I didn't draw into the, the standard buffer, that's uh, there is basically a creature that will buff the Vanguard uh, a bit better, like for 10,000, I think. I didn't draw into it, so I'll just keep it as this. Now, main phase, I can play uh, this guy on the left, let's say. Left or right, it doesn't matter, uh, because I want to pressure my opponent as fast as possible. So, now battle, quickly select the attack, let's go. Uh, he needs to decide if he wants to use the defense or not. Uh, there, there are different schools with regards to attacking with the, with the great ones because he will have a good opportunity to kill it, but he didn't do anything. He got, uh, he gets a draw trigger, so uh, he did get that damage. But now with the draw trigger, you have uh, thirteen thousand, and I need to get through, it, uh, get, go through it. Uh, yep, just going with the vanguard, with the booster, selecting his own vanguard, and I have uh, thirteen thousand myself. If he wants to uh, discard a card to actually block, that's fine. We still have one drive check on our side. Yeah. So he decides to, to drop 10,000. So this is perfect guard from his side. Even if we hit, we didn't. But even if we would hit um, with his uh, like trigger, we still wouldn't go through. All right. So basically, Gear Chronicle. Gear Chronicle, guys. This is the main Dragon Clan you're getting in... Um, at least this uh, expansion, which is the main expansion for Car File Online, I, I, I believe, uh, in this set. Uh, there is also a second dragon clan, my favorite clan, called Kagero, the, um, the fire dragons. But the gear dragons are quite nice. You've seen uh, some of them in the previous videos, but you haven't seen the, the full, like, not even guy, like, full match with them. So you can see how they work. I don't even know how the cards work yet, at least. Uh, but uh, you don't really need to know how the cards work, mostly. Um, I'm trying to figure out how the uh, how the G, uh, G thing works, because all the cards have this um, this um, generation break, right? And uh, I don't, I'm not sure when it works exactly, so I think it works when I use my stride. So whenever I stride, I will be able to... Um, to use the the GB1 guys, and if I strike twice, I'll be able to use the GB2 on my guys, or whenever I have my my monster here. All right, so uh, now he's attacking into my 8,000 guy, which I need to protect because it's a great booster in the future. So let's block that and turn. And now he's going for the Vanguard, and I don't want to... Uh, actually, he only has one Drive Check, and I can uh, guard from that as well. The question is, do I have Counter Blast I want to use? So basically, the ability that uses the damage zone. I don't think I, I really do, so we might guard from that damage as well. Like, this is kind of like a perfect guard at the moment. Because even if he 
if he checks, uh, unless he gets a stand, stand will be annoying. All right, he didn't get anything. Cool. So um, let's ride. Oh wow, we got a, a second grade, uh, third grade too. So I'm able to to ride one of them. This nine thousand, nine thousand, eight thousand. When this unit intercepts, that's a great great blocker. This guy will do stuff when uh, we actually don't have counter blast anyway. And uh, when this unit attacks Vanguard, this unit gets some pluses. So probably you can ride this guy. Uh, when this unit attacks Vanguard, oh, we're almost there. So let's ride. Sure, and th now our turn. So we can move this guy back. And now um, this will require a boost. This not necessarily. Um, or maybe it will, but it's fine because we can attack here. So now end phase and go to the battle phase. Attack this guy here. Just to have some value, you know, like I'm behind on cards because he has still like five cards in hand and I only have one. I, I will draw one card from this attack, but it's good to force him to defend his, his guys. And is he playing Aqua Force? Yeah, it's Aqua Force. So basically the, the mermaids and all the, the water cards, water card guys. There's no damage check, so that guy is dead. And now I can attack with my Vanguard. See what's up. Uh, because there are stun triggers, I always like to attack with Vanguard second. And um, if he like puts a lot of blockers, right now if he like throws a lot of shields, I would be able to actually get the crit triggers to the guy on the left. Uh, he's taking damage, one damage, hopefully no triggers. Nice. Yeah, and now just a simple attack here as well. So yeah, overall, I, I really like how this game looks like. Um, I like the mechanics of Vanguard before. I think they are fun, fast-paced overall, and uh, they did a good job with the game. Like the game is taking care of most of the interactions, and uh, the the, pre the previous version I played, which was the custom one, uh, we had to mind a lot of things. And if somebody messed up, like you had to message them. It's like, hey, you took one more damage, or you need to remove this unit that died, and explain to them how the card works. But uh, here. You can come in, even if you don't know the rules, the game will make sure that everything is fine. Alright, so he got a nice, um, great free card. This is the one who surpasses the Storm Thabas. And what does he, what does he do? During your turn, when your G unit strides, choose one of the Vanguards until the end of turn. It's get, it gets auto when your unit attacks a Vanguard. If it's uh, the fourth battle of the turn, choose three of your opponent's rear guards. Your opponent chooses one card from them and retires it. Alright. So basically, he will be able to retire one of my dudes in the in the back line if he attacks four times. Because Aqua Aqua Force is all about stun triggers. Like I don't know if it works in the tutorial, like in the tutorial or whatever, like trial decks. I'm not even sure. Like if he opened like a lot of boosters and now his deck is more custom than uh, than trial. But Aqua Force is all about the stun triggers, and uh, it's good to remember. Not that I can do much about it, but. I know what's coming, I know what's coming, more or less. He goes into the Vanguard, and I'm glad to take that damage and hopefully get the trigger to be able to prevent any upcoming damage. And we got a heal, nice! Um, not that we can heal, but we can actually protect the Vanguard a bit, at least. So, uh, this attacked, this will attack, but will not be able to kill the Vanguard, he will have to attack into one of the rear guards. And then um, this is uh, 14, so it can still attack. Alright, we got to, to 14,000. Your opponent has activated ability. At the end of battle, that unit attack Vanguard. Oh, it can just stand? Like what? It had this ability? Oh, is he sw oh he's swapping them. Okay, I, I, I get it, I get it. Alright, so it was so good for us. That we got that f plus 5,000. <laughs> Not knowing cards. It's like, I feel like I'm starting to play like a new game. It's like, oh my god, you could do that? It's like, it was on a card all the time to begin with. Does this guy have the same ability? Is this the, the same dude? No. No, no, no. It's not Magnum, right? No. That's, okay. That was the butter, Battery Boom Dragon. So, that's 14 to 14,000 and I'm fine taking that damage as well. I'm okay taking some damage. Um, 
I don't want to I, I don't want to lose my, my front line. And now he will attack with the Vanguard. So he has uh, or maybe with um, this dude that has ten thousand, still good dude. But if he attacks with that dude we can protect our stuff. The important part is not to take damage. Uh, he can kill it, yeah sure, we have another one in our hand. Actually, I might go for a value battle, kind of. Like, uh, kill his uh, rear guards. Alright, no guard, because I hope he will not trigger at all. Like, there is no need at the moment. Oh man, obviously critical trigger. Because why not? Why not? <laughs> I feel like we are really unlucky with, with triggers this game. Well, not like this game, like overall, like all my matches I've showed you guys, we got really bad luck with the triggers. Oh, what did I say? Like I didn't say anything, heal is nice, and I can heal the one damage now. Let's heal it, let's heal this. And 5000 power here is fine as well. Okay, good. We're good. So we got uh, oh a great free card nice. So maybe I should keep this. Um, riding the Chrono Jet Dragon. And I need to decide if I want to play. Select the card to stride. I guess I can stride a card. Sure. Yes. And play with this. Second so head up some great free yeah this why this one. So I can stride first, which is quite nice. And stride is always good because I'll be drawing extra cards and I can use the, the, the ability as well. So during your turn when your G unit strides you may pay the cost if you do choose one of your opponent's rear guards and uh, your opponent puts that unit at the bottom of his deck. Sure, let's do it. And uh, the, the rear guard that I'm choosing is this guy. When this, this is it attack? No, this guy. Sure. Because this was the guy from sh that's, that was doing shenanigans. Um, and I'm paying... Please select one of your opponent's zero guards. Uh, did I do it? How to select this? Selected, yes. That was weird. That's still fine though. Uh, back to main phase. So I'm going to play this guy here. Nice. And end phase, go for the attack. That's great too, that's great too. I can attack here into this guy. Just to limit the number of dudes he has. He can guard that, obviously. Let's see what he does. Alright, so... By the way, this should work, right? Um, when this unit attacks the Vanguard, this unit gets plus 3000. So maybe I should have actually attacked the Vanguard. It should get plus uh, 3000. Uh, is there any other G interaction here? Not really. But our guy here ha has counterblast four. When this unit is uh, attack hits the vanguard, I will not be able to use it. So we use some guards. Sure. Let's attack the vanguard now with thirty-one thousand. A perfect. Does he have a perfect guard? Is there a perfect guard incoming, or is it just the attack going through? Stand trigger! Yeah! That's nice! We can stand this unit! Perfect! And now we can also add power. That's 16,000, which is really good. And that will be... He will get... Plus 3, right? So it's 12, 17. I like it. And the second check, nothing. And there is the third check, because we stride it. But that will uh, allow us to stride again. Alright, nothing, unfortunately. So he's taking that damage there. And he's getting nothing. Alright. Uh, use? Counterblast 4, so it cannot really use it. Uh, now I can attack with my dude, with this dude, into the Vanguard. Use the, uh, use the power, obviously. So now he's up to 17,000. And our opponent um, has to make a quick decision. He is at 4 damage. 4 damage. So if, he gets, if we get this throw, we'll be in a really good position. By the way, what is this unit? Um, what is he attack with Vanguard? Okay, okay, okay. So this is another booster. I was supposed to make a Royal Paladin guide, uh, or like match for you guys uh, today. Right, well, yeah, today, basically. And uh, 
I misclicked the the chrono guys. Ah oh, man, he got the trigger and draw trigger is really good. So I'm sure he's going to uh, he's going to survive this. Uh, having four cards, so this is sixteen thousand. He will need to. He just needs a five. Oh no, not a five. He, yeah, a five. Just whatever. It's still something though. All right, cool. We don't have that many shields ourselves. But um, hopefully we'll survive. Like, he's at 5. You just need to deal damage. Uh, he will probably stride himself. And um, yeah, it's Aqua Force, so he can attack many times. We'll see. I'm just charging head on. Like, this game can end this turn. He, he has a chance to kill me. But if I survive, I have a chance to kill him. So we'll see. Waiting for opponent to move. Will he stride? Will he actually... Oh, it's right. Okay, so he didn't stride, I believe. And now it's his ride. He didn't ride. Now his main, his main phase. Okay, that was awkward. He did get some cards, so why not play any boosters or anything? Like, is he afraid of of uh, me attacking? Interesting. Oh, he can still. Ma it's main phase. He can still play the boosters. And that's a uh, Kelpie Rider Polo. It's quite good. 8,000. And what's this? When this unit attacks the Vanguard, sure. Like, it's cool actually that the, the trial decks are really similar with abilities. So, like, at the, at the moment, I mostly know what is going on. So, he's going for the Vanguard with 14,000. Um, we can actually easily protect that. So, I think I will, actually, I will, I will throw like 5,000 here. And, and, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I love the art style. I, I know I said it many times before, but those Gear Chronicle dragons, like, friggin... Well, it's not a dragon, I guess. It's a colossus. <laughs> and this, obviously, like, the small things. Stomach Clock Gear Rabbit. Uh, that's 18,000, so we can uh, guard it as well, easily. Let's guard it. I'm still at 3 damage, he will have to be really powerful with regards to um, crits, like he needs to get the crits. And he's only getting 2 checks, so he has still 2 cards in hand. Normally you note most of the cards, because you see them while they show them. So I know he has the, the card he did draw from the draw trigger, I haven't seen the card though. No guard with the vanguard. So that's a blank and that's perfect because that's just uh, f no shields as well and he gets a heal, so that's unfortunate. Uh, that's unfortunate for two reasons. First he heals so he goes back to 4 damage. And um, the second unfortunate thing... Oh! He he surrendered! Perfect! So that was a, a random... Well, he was in a really bad spot, right? Like having 3 cards. And that great 3 was also useless, like no shields. So he got 10,000 shields, he assumed he's basically dead. And we're getting a gold coin. Alright, alright, let's uh, see what's up. So, you are getting... Are we getting this as well? Guard three times, including Intercept. I should have done that! No! I need gold. Oh, I did! Yes! Yeah, actually did guard three times! Oh, man. Okay, I didn't Intercept three times, but I did guard three times. So, we got that quest going for us. Alright, nice. Um, so, I guess we can a uh, card fight again. But... Uh, I will leave that for another episode. Alright guys, so for the next episode, it will be Royal Paladin. But for today, that will be it. So thank you so much for, for watching. Or actually, maybe I still have time to show you. Because, you know, we've used all those dragons. But maybe you just want to see what the cards are. So I will just quickly show you so you can pause the video and see what's up. So this is the Chrono Jet Dragon. Then we have a Smithering Colossus. The next card is... Steam Knight Ubara Tutu. I love that name. Then we have Smoke Gear Dragon. I love the art. This is Steam Fighter Amber. Twin, Mas Twin Mazer Dragon. Sure. Then we have the Great Carapace. Or Carapace? I, I never know how to say that, but that's basically like a shell, right? Gear Turtle. Mazer Gear Dragon that we've seen. It's like a laser. Maybe <laughs> something weird there. Brasswing Dragon. It's like, it's like a bird, but it's actually 
a dragon with brass wings. Steam Soldier Torj, I guess. Then we have Steam Rider Burnham. Burnham Steam Rider! I like how the, we actually have humans as well in this clan. Withdrawn Gear Raven. Interesting art as well. And this is this is our perfect guard. So this is the sentinel thing that uh, blocks the attack, whatever you do. But you have to discard a clan card. Uh, this was our forerunner starter. Gunner Gear Draco Kid. And uh, now the triggers. A really nice art for Steam Battler Dada Sig. Then we have Steam Knight Shusin. Shusin. Yeah, that's basically it. And you can uh, you can notice that all the drill triggers actually have 5,000 shields. Um, then we have our rabbit, Stomach Clock Gear Rabbit, which is a stun trigger. We have our lovely heal trigger, which is the Steam Maiden Uluru. And the last card is the draw, another draw trigger, Lucky Pot, Lucky Pot Draco Kid, which is, yeah. Oh, yeah, and obviously we have our stride cards, which is the interdimensional dragon mystery hair or is the mystery mystery flare mystery flare dragon i can actually read it here why am i reading from this but yeah it's it's pretty cool as a gear dragon all right so this is all the cards in this trial deck and that will be it for this episode as well <laughs> gear chronicle mist mistakenly taken uh, instead of royal paladin but i think i'm i'm happy with that i got a win and so i'm sure you guys will be happy as well let me know in the comments if you like the series with card of vanguard and um see you guys in the next episode hi guys this is nimsh and welcome to the third episode about card fight vanguard or rather card fight online because this is the online version so this time i'd like to talk about